missing uh, in the lower bass section of the chorus, otherwise known as the best section of the chorus. I've danced now for about the past three or four shows and I just love it because as a former dancer I really love dancing anyway and we just have so much fun. My favourite moment actually with the chorus is uh, from last Christmas when we, we were the Mean Girls in Jingle Bell Rock and I just thought I looked so hot in that little red Santa skirt and the little black boots. I danced for a year at the Moulin Rouge in Paris so I can still get my legs around my head if need be. I've also started a, a part-time master's degree in education, so that keeps me busy. Um, that and dating apps, really, that's my life. Am I pushing the fact that I'm single? I sang for about nine years on a chat show in the UK as part of the house band. We were called Four Puffs and a Piano, and we used to introduce the guests with witty introductions. Um, and that was a lot of fun. I got to meet a lot of people. When we did God Save the Queens, the, the concert full of British music, do you want to talk us through your role in that particular show? That was so much fun, and I was very honoured to be able to present little moments of the show. The first was as the Queen, which was lots of fun. Then I came on as Elton John, and then my final entrance was Jerry from uh, the Spice Girls. Now, are you ready to spice up your life? I had a lot of fun with it and uh, I was kind of given free reign just to be silly so I just jumped on that and uh, had a lot of fun. My name is David and I'll be with you this evening to give you a flavour of what life was like in the UK growing up as a young gay man in the 1970s <laughs> and... <laughs> Another special moment was when we sang the seven last words of the unarmed because it was musically quite challenging to work on. So during most of the time we were working on it, I, personally, I was focused on, on getting it right. So I wasn't really focused on the message so much. When we came to, to do a run through um, on the day of the first concert, just the emotion of the piece hit me. significance of the piece hit me and I think that that was a, a really powerful moment. Oh, yeah. 